Hey guys, and welcome back to another Let's Play. This is your host, Liberty, and tonight, haha, <laughs> we will be playing The Heart Pumps Clay. Now, I played this game mm, end of last year for the RPGmaker.com web. RPGmakerweb.com uh, IGMC, that is Indie Game Making Competition, uh, as one of the judges for the RPG portion, and it's been suggested that perhaps I didn't give it a fair shake of the donkey's tail, and that it's changed quite a bit since then. And if it has, then I look forward to playing it again, because last time my impression wasn't that great. So this time, we'll see how it goes. Let's just jump straight in. Choose your difficulty. Um, frankly, I'm tempted to play easy because I had such a bad time last time, but I'm going to play normal. Because you have to, you know? If you're going to judge something, you should play it by its normal difficulty. Now see, this is an issue I had with the last game, in that it mixes tile types, and it doesn't look good. Would have been really nice if the creator, um, housekeeping, had actually uh, created his own water and ground tiles. Even if the water was static, that would have been much better looking than the mix of two different styles. Anyway, welcome to the Tree of Life. <laughs> cool. Actually, I'm not going to voice it because <laughs> it's it's very late at night and I don't want to wake anybody up. Um, what did I tell you? I didn't think dryads would be that stupid. Like I said, their heads are made of wood. Can I help you? You really are daft, aren't you? You're supposed to be guarding the source of all things, not throwing the welcoming party. Oh, that's why you're here? Well, if that's the case, I'm afraid I can't let you in. Oh, really? Get her, bud. Well, hey there, big guy. <laughs> That wasn't very nice. It wasn't supposed to be. Oh, come on. I'm a plant. Why would a little water hurt me? I soak it up all day. Water's for putting out fire. Now, if you really want to hurt a plant, you use fire. I guess I'll set you on fire, then. That wasn't very nice, either. I'm not nice. Oh, of course you are. It's not like you're a monster. Speaking of monsters, they're all over the fucking place. You're going to have to beat a lot of them if you want the source of all things. <sighs> Already I'm regretting my decision. Dash, thank god. Instant, thank you. Um... Now, this game, you don't get... I don't even know why there's an item... Alright, sorry, I'm just getting frustrated because I know what's going to come. <laughs> uh, frankly, they could have done without the whole item menu part. The only thing you really need to know are skills, your equipment, and maybe your status and save system. Yeah, maybe. Here we go. Yay. Alright, so the way this works is that she can make items, she can make magic, um, and Bud can either attack, use a skill, or depending on the skills that she's used, the elements, he'll change into an element. And Crow can only really steal and physically attack the enemies, which doesn't really help 
own almost just cover MP. Um, you'd think that would be pretty good, but it's kind of shit. You'll see why. So, first things first, we want to probably shift to fire. I believe that the colours they are is their weakness. So, uh, distracts your opponent, causing them to focus their attacks on you for three turns. Brings an ally back to conscious consciousness. Um, kills your both bulky body. Alright, so, and you can kill them. Yep, so you get to see what you're stealing, which is good. As you can see, Bud now has the lava ability. Would have been cool if his actual face sprite had changed, or even the colour of his flower. That would have been cool. That would have been cool. Now, um, now that she's got uh, her elemental ship, she can use a spell. Um, he now has an elemental physical. Uh, his attack is now elementally charged. Sometimes I think he learns new spells. And meanwhile, Crow is only useful for stealing shit. No, seriously, that's his sole use. Ah, okay, so... Um, fireball on... not on water. So, wait. Strong against fire, strong against water, strong against earth. So, fireball on him. Uh, body slam on him. Friendly insult to... Oh yeah, and refilling MP. That is all Crow is useful for. Alright. She can fireball. He can body slam. And... He can probably... Yeah. Um... Yeah, so you see, um, these are the spells she has at her disposal if she switches. So if I'd switch to water, she could use ice daggers. Um, I could switch to earth. Wait. Yeah, switch to earth. He can use, um, just attack normally, and he can friendly insult himself. Now, the big deal about this game is that you unfortunately don't keep any of the items. Is it just me or does Bud look smaller? Looks like he lost some mud during that fight. Hey Bud, quit trying to block things with your face. Well, it's not like I gave him a brain when I made him. <laughs> we might want to be careful. Looks like Bud might get a little weaker after every fight. Yeah, that's one of the big points about the game. This is another big point about the game. Everywhere you go is fucking blocked by a monster. It's annoying as it sounds. Also, yep, look at that. No keepies. Any items you grind in battle, you cannot keep. You can only ever use them in that battle. Of course, being a completionist, I want every fucking thing I can get my hands on. Of course, being a bullshit game, it won't let me. Yep, so that disables an enemy for one turn. It's okay on bosses, it's not great for anything else, really. Uh, that recovers all magic points. Yeah, see, um, most enemies are going to be immune to shit. She can mix items. Yeah, nothing remains after battle. It's just... Ugh. Um, let's use Earth. Skill. Luck on her. Cancer. Pilfer. Um. Yeah. 
So really there's only a few kinds of items in the game. Um, they're quite useful. Thistle patch, skill, mud slam, friendly insult to bug. It is nice that um, it actually fills you fills you up after. after battle. I always appreciate games like that. Club of Smashing. Three guesses who that goes on. Alright, so it puts up your attack. Frankly, Chloe is only useful for his physical attack and the skills he currently has. He has no magic whatsoever. So if you're trying to use him for skills, then you're doing wrong. See, the reason I'm sighing, you're, you, you're all probably thinking, gee, she's, um, gee, she's, uh, complaining over it. nothing, the game's just started. It's because I know what's coming. I know, I know just how tedious this is going to get. Um, because I've played, it, it's, how do I say it? It's going to get pretty tedious. I do like a lot of the things that was done that were done in battles. Um, the whole aspect of using different skills here. Um, I don't hate the idea of items being used in battles. I just hate having to grind them up every single battle in case you need them. It would be nice if say you could only steal once per battle or something and you had to make a choice what you wanted to steal but you could keep it after battle that way you can build up a small amount and still you know still have a restriction on it but if you needed it it's there for later on uh, BFF Attack up, but it also puts magic attack up, so that's probably best for her. See, I know that... Um, everything up, including magic attack and magic defense. See, I want everything! I want it all! Alright, so since they're a water elemental, we can shift to water and just get the hell out of it. Um, pilfer, unicorn water. Quite frankly, um, it's not so much that the battles are boring as it is that it's so repetitive fighting the same monsters over and over again. I mean, on this map, there were one, two, three, four, five monsters. The maps are just going to get bigger and worse. Seriously, you you are going to fight a lot of fucking monsters by the time this is over, and it's really annoying having to do like the same battle basically over and over again. Bye! Joy. No! I 
And trust me, battles are just going to get longer. See, if you have long battles, you don't need to have lots of battles. You only need a couple of battles. I understand that um, part of it was to make Bug's life force go down quite a bit e each time and make it seem like a penalty. Easy enough to do if you up the amount that gets taken away each time. Decrease the battles, increase the... Uh, everything else. Um, HP and MP. I might that give that to her later on. So, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. Yay. Fucking... See, this is one of the most annoying things about this game, too. Um... Bud is purely physical except in one thing, and even then he's still physical. The one who's doing the most damage is going to be Mara. She's the only one who can damage enemies like this, and we will see enemies like this very, very often, unless you play on, um, on, uh, easy mode. You shouldn't have to play on easy mode just to not, not, just so that you don't get bored the fuck out every fucking time. Bud! can't do jack squat in this battle. In this battle, you are always either going to be spamming magic missile or not doing anything. Seriously, battles like this suck. They're okay every once in a while, but when two thirds of the team amount to nothing when it comes to battling, you got an issue. What the hell? Is this new? I'm pretty sure this is a new feature. Because I don't remember this. Or else I would have spammed the fuck out of it. Oh, should use fire on that. Anyway, as usual, Bud just keeps losing his MP. Hi. Alright. Fuck you. Ahem. What could possibly be so important? There's a barrier in the way. Any idea on how to dispel it? I can tell that you're interested in me. What? <laughs> No need to be coy, my dear. Tell me, uh, let me tell you of the fantastic adventures of Percival, the devastatingly handsome yet currently unemployed knight. Just the part about getting past the barrier will do. <laughs> this guy laughs like an idiot. A talking bird. How adorable. Just tell us about the barrier. That frown isn't very ladylike. Fine. You just have to look in this mirror before the tree will let you pass. I asked that foxy dryad at the entrance about it. She explained why, but I kind of zoned out. <laughs> I was just about to pass through here myself when I got... distracted. By myself. <clears throat> How about you move aside then? I'm afraid I can't do that. You must be here because you want the source of all things, and as it so happens, I'm here for that very artifact. See, I came across a wounded deer in the Enchanted Forest. The deer was actually, I don't care. Neither do I, frankly. I decided I don't like you. And again, I don't care. Now green. Um, meaning fire should work. Skill, fox prints, and 
See, this is what I mean. I can't steal any more of him. Fair enough. I don't have any items that can heal. Fuck. Seriously. Fuck. What am I supposed to do now? She has to use that instead. He's gone red. Of course he fucking has. What else would he go? See, this is my issue with boss battles. With a lot of the game, actually. You have to grind up items to you so that you don't die because Bud is going to be keeping your ass alive. Basically. That's like super annoying. Now, uh, body slam items. Oh, fuck me. That's right. Red equals bad. Well, uh, again. this bullshit. See, now would be when she actually attacks, but instead she has to let Crow heal by using more potions. Otherwise, everyone's going to die. When everyone dies, that's not a happy, happy, joy, joy thing. Cat, please stop scratching. Cat, cat, stop scratching. Cat! And if she stops making potions to change shit, then somebody's going to die. Because who knows where the hell he's going to attack next, even with phosphorants on. do something that doesn't mean that isn't doing uh, bullshit yay finally chance against me if it weren't for your magic witch. Actually, the one who carried that fight wasn't the witch. Quite your tongue. Dude. Sirs. Ew. Ew. Let's get this over with. Please, shall we? Please, please, can we? Please. It doesn't even have a reflection. You're talking about our daughter. Talking about a witch. 
I'm not just going to dump my daughter in the... Oh good, I can read it so fast. Why'd you have to give birth to a monster? Monster, 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 mash! <clears throat> Ash, quiet, she. Yay, minus 10. Good day. Alright, I'm going to stop this video here since it's been 25 minutes. I will be back with the next episode of Heart Pumps Clay. Yeah, until then, take care. See ya.